How Biochar Benefits Smallholders My name is Tom Miles. I am the director of the U.S. Biochar Initiative and a board member of the International Biochar Initiative. I have sponsored and hosted a discussion list on improved cooking stoves for 25 years and a biochar list for 15 years. Some participants in the cook stove community are curious about the real benefits of biochars. I'd like to describe a few examples and provide some references which show how the smallholders who are interested in stoves can also benefit from biochar. I will describe a few of the characteristics of biochars, typical smallholder needs and challenges, the benefits of biochars, some examples of biochar production and use, and I will list some of the strategies which may extend the benefits of biochars to smallholders. Before looking at how biochars are produced, it's useful to see how they are used. Biochars are delivered as carbon and as combinations of carbon and minerals. They eventually reside in soil solutions like the carbon-amended clay soils, or terra preta, shown here on the banks of the Amazon. In terra preta, carbon mixed with heavy clay soil and with nutrients from biosolids, food waste, and litter to form a dark, productive, organic mineral complex. When you handle terra preta, as we did on this trip, you can feel and smell the rich life that you can also see in the diversity of the plants above ground. Today we call the carbon fraction biochar. When wood or biomass is heated, a skeleton of carbon is left as fine-grained, highly porous charcoal that helps soils retain nutrients and water. Their pore sizes and surface areas are suitable for capturing gases and nutrients essential to plant growth. Organisms feed on the nutrients and facilitate transfer to the plants. The low density and porosity of biochars improves water infiltration and water retention, which helps soils make more water available to plants and extends the growing season, especially in sandy and clay soils. These properties can be obtained through simple processing. Among its many functions, scientists have been discovering the value of the electrochemical properties of biochars. Forms of biochar can increase soil redox potential, which results in greater plant nutrient content. It is said that biochars are biogeo bio batteries, which store energy and nutrients. They help plants and organisms in the microbiome cycle carbon, nutrients, and energy through the soil. So let's charge poor soils with biogeo batteries. Smallholders face many challenges. Although biochars have been demonstrated to be a cost-effective method to improve soil health, feed, food, water quality, and energy from, from residues, they often are not known or accessible to smallholders. They are often subsistence-level farmers and gardeners and not small or medium-scale producers. Methods to make char are not accessible due to lack of capital and equipment. They often rely on expensive fertilizers, which produce uncertain results because of their, their soils have very little organic matter, often less than 1%. Rainfall in many areas is reduced. They are often have diseases in plants and animals. They do have important assets in their small plots of land, their individual and community labor, and their animals, which can provide nutrients in the form of manures. Biochar is used in small amounts in combination with a nutrient source like manure or leaves from agroforestry crops can have many benefits. It's easy to adopt biochar as a technique. Making biochar is compatible with making green charcoal. Biochars have been shown in practice to reduce disease, making healthier plants and animals. Often yield is improved as organic matter is built up in the soil. Feeding biochar can result in increased production of milk and eggs. Soil is improved by animals through, through rotational grazing. Biochars can be used to filter water and in systems to make clean potable water. They can also be used in bioreactor gardens for cleaning sewage and septage. A great source on biochar is the Biochar for Sustainable Soils program. It ran from 2012 through 2018 and demonstrated biochars for smallholders on six, in six countries on four continents. The project gen generated a lot of useful information that is available on the web. Aqueous Solutions is a nonprofit organization dedicated to making low-cost potable water and sanitation systems using biochar. Animals inoculate, distribute, and mix biochars in soil. 
Pigs, chickens, goats, and sheep feed on char, which improves health and increases egg, milk, and meat production. Enriched biochar is passed out in the dung. Dung beetles mix and inoculate biochars into soil, improving forage quality and production. Worms ingest biochar to form inoculated micro and nanoparticles of char and iron, which improve the use of nutrients like phosphorus. Animals will eat biochar free choice. In its simplest form, biochars can be combined with manures to improve soil health and productivity. Smallholders in Kenya, where soil carbon is very low, are saying that biochar is a farmer's best friend. Sister Miriam Paulette is training hundreds of smallholders in Malawi and Kenya to make biochar in smokeless flame cap pit kilns. The pit can be made with local tools. It's covered with metal to quench the char. Biochar is mixed with manure at planting. In July last year, Kenya trainer Everline showed off her bumper crop of sorghum. Her corn crop with commercial fertilizer was poor, but she grew so much corn by using biochar and manure that her storage bins overflowed. You should detect a theme here of using biochar with a source of nutrients like manure. Sister Miriam was introduced to biochar by Dr. Michael Schaefer of Warm Heart Worldwide. He has developed these trough kilns and tea luds to reduce air pollution and improve soil productivity. Since Dr. Schaefer's visit, Sister Miriam has extended training to dozens of villages in Malawi and Kenya. Corn cobs are carbonized in simple tea luds. Maize stock, stocks and bamboo are carbonized in carefully constructed pit kilns. Krista Roth has helped Sister Miriam with the Champion and other stoves. Kevin McLean has demonstrated his improved stoves. The villages are enthusiastic about biochar and having good success. A soil scientist colleague from Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe will visit Malawi next month to test the improvement in soils where they have had success with biochar. The project is carried out by well-organized teams with practically no outside funding. Other projects in Africa have demonstrated the benefits of biochar made in cooking stoves. Biochar Plus demonstrated the Italian-designed Elsa stove. The project resulted in the formation of an African biochar partnership. Veronica Agodoa Kitty from ASA Initiative in Cape Coast, Ghana, is now a board member of the International Biochar Initiative. BB was a previous project using a gasifier stove which demonstrated the benefits of biochar residues from microgasification. These projects tested business models for the manufacture of stoves and the production and use of biochars. A similar project is now underway in Burundi. The Biochar for Sustainable Soils project had a very productive experience using stoves, flame cap kilns, and pit kilns to make biochar. Here are some of the results from Ethiopia where creative smallholders who participated in the project are still making use of improved stoves and biochars. Radio Lifeline demonstrated how small amounts of biochar with nutrients can improve productivity for coffee trees in Rwanda and Tanzania. Rice husk biochar made in traditional Simple carbonizing piles is converted to commercial fertilizer by these entrepreneurs in Kenya. Their production has grown and they're looking forward to more mechanized production. Thousands of acres in Africa, Australia, and America have been seeded with biochar seed balls by hand, by slingshot, by fixed wing airplane, and by drone. Formulations for seed balls include seeds, biochar, and essential ingredients for germination. Chinese fertilizer companies make granulated biochar-based fertilizers from crop residues. 62 companies are part of a national alliance of biochar science and technology innovation, which has produced about 500,000 tons of granulated biochar-based fertilizers each year. The fertilizers are subsidized for use by small farmers. These projects suggest some strategies for extending the benefits of biochar. Sometimes it's difficult uh, we have found to promote biochars to NGOs. They require major funding uh, from international sources and long-term planning. 
we found that it's simpler to just do it. Use low-cost techniques, provide sound, agronomic assistance, and provide monitoring and assistance. Please join the biochar discussion groups online at groups.io, visit our International Biochar Initiative and U.S. Biochar Initiative websites, or contact us at usbiochar at gmail.com. Many thanks.